this is kind of a strange thing to say for somebody who surrounds himself with VHS tapes, but I'm kind of tired of physical media. And what ruined it for me was the Blu-ray format. I blame Blu-ray. I'm going to tell you why. I don't know if this is the most timely topic since Blu-rays have been around for a while, but hey, complaining about old stuff, that's kind of what I do. Just to clarify, I still sometimes buy physical media for collector's purposes and to make videos about as I sit here in my shrine of nostalgic relics. But when it comes to watching stuff, streaming wins for convenience. My complaint with Blu-ray is that it came after DVD and should have been a whole lot better. And aside from better image quality and probably a whole checklist of technical advantages, it offered nothing new to impress me. In fact, a lot of things about it were worse than DVD. Yeah, Blu-ray worse than DVD? How is that possible? Well, here's my top 10 reasons Blu-ray is worse than DVD. Number 10, the menus. Remember when DVDs had awesome menus? This goes to show what can get done when somebody thinks, hey, we have this new technology. We can make interactive menus. Let's get creative with it. In Wayne's world, it's like you're browsing a cable TV menu. You could even click on random things that have nothing to do with the movie. Some DVDs like House of a Thousand Corpses would have a character from the movie talking to you. You don't quit doing the asshole shuffle and pick one of these goddamn options. I'm going to come over there and put my boot up your ass. I'll always remember the Spinal Tap DVD where the band complains the logo is too hello, small. Hello, hello. Oh, that's great. I, I recognize it. Nice. Stop. No, it's getting too small. Wait, blow, the, blow it up. Blow, blow it up. Where'd it go? But I haven't seen that many great menus on Blu-ray. Hardly any, in fact. I mean, it's real bad when you're able to compare the same movie and the DVD menu shows a thousand times more effort. The Blu-rays are always either just a 10-second loop of the movie or it's the same stock menu. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many times I've popped in a Blu-ray and saw that same stock menu that anyone with a computer could make. In fact, if I opened Adobe Encore right now, which is outdated itself, I could use one of those templates and make something better in 10 minutes. What happened to the art of menus? Number nine, bonus features. Remember when DVDs were loaded with extras like documentaries, trailers, TV promos, commentaries, deleted scenes, and bloopers? Sure, Blu-rays had them too, but not as often. It seems whenever a Blu-ray had a good amount of extras, the price was also extra. Why's it gotta be a special anniversary release? With DVDs, it seemed the idea was always to include as much material as possible to help push the new format. But with Blu-rays, it was just the bare basics. At the very least, a movie on Blu-ray should have all the same bonus features that were on the DVD version, even if they're only available in standard def. That's no reason to leave them off entirely. I'm sure there's copyright reasons and contracts they didn't want to renew and stuff like that. And whenever I bought a Blu-ray, my intention was always to replace the DVD version. But instead, I have to keep two versions sitting on my shelf because all the same stuff isn't on there. Number eight, oversized cases. They overcompensated, for sure. With Blu-rays, it's always too little or too much. If you want that special edition with all the bonus features, you better be prepared because it ain't gonna fit on your shelf. What am I supposed to do with this? When I ordered this on Amazon, I had no idea it was going to take up so much space. So much for alphabetical order, I guess this is going somewhere else. Number seven, the disc holders. This is not something I ever thought needed to be discussed. The simple invention that existed since the beginning of compact discs. CDs, DVDs, they all had the same thing. It was a circle that holds the disc. You push it, it releases. Done. What's so hard about that? It was simple, it worked. But then Blu-ray came along and said, hey, let's complicate this. Let's make it a big pain in the ass. So they came up with all kinds of new ways to reinvent the wheel, like sleeves. Well, that's great. Now I have to handle the disc in a way that smudges it with my fingers. And sometimes the discs fall back in the sleeves and get lost. And how about those ones that just hang on to round pegs? Those don't work either. I'll never forget the infamous Back to the Future trilogy set that actually had instructions. You need instructions to tell you how to remove a Blu-ray? And to this day, I still can't figure it out. You have to like bend the discs. It feels like they're about to break. And there's these latches that seem like they're meant to hold it in, but it doesn't hold it in. 
Anytime I've opened this thing, the discs are loose. Did the person who invented this ever even see a CD? Number six, reconfiguring buttons. I have a PS3, which I strictly use for watching movies. I have yet to find another Blu-ray player with a better remote control than the PS3. The main thing I like about it is that it's Bluetooth, so I don't have to actually point the remote at the player. The PS3 is the only DVD Blu-ray player I know that has a Bluetooth remote. I'm not saying no others exist, I just can't find any. And honestly, it's been a long time since I looked. But anyway, I love this remote. I love that I have no problems using it in the dark because I can always feel that round circle in the middle anytime I need to pause and play. Push the middle for pause and play, push the left for rewind, and the right for fast forward. It's very intuitive and I love it. But then Blu-ray came along and messed it all up. Now, for most Blu-rays, not all of them, but for most of them, the middle circle does nothing. Now, if I want to pause, I have to press the dedicated pause button, and then to play again, I have to press the play button. Not only is it two separate buttons now, but the stop button is in between. So when I'm in the dark, feeling around, I have to be extremely careful not to hit the stop button. If I do, it goes back to the PS3 menu, and the entire disc starts over. If I was halfway through watching a movie, I now have to wait through all the trailers and commercials all over again, and then start hunting for that spot in the movie I left off at. Just because I hit stop. Why did the buttons have to change? Number five, software updates. To play this BD, which is a great abbreviation for Blu-ray disc, by the way, you must renew the encryption key. What the hell is an encryption key? I need to unlock a movie that I bought? Perform a system software update to renew the encryption key. No, no thanks, just forget it. Wow, I don't think physical media is truly physical when you have to connect to the internet. That's a death sentence to physical media right there. Number four, ownership by Sony. How do we get so casual about the idea of one company owning an entire format? Stop and think, nobody owned VHS. Anybody who made video content of any sort could release it on VHS without paying royalties to any one company. That's why VHS had more content than any other medium. DVD didn't even catch up. When you think of all the low-budget indie movies that were on VHS, all the 80s workout tapes and instructional videos, there was more stuff on VHS than any other format. But each time a new format comes out, the amount of titles just shrinks and shrinks. Sure, there's new stuff coming out that obviously isn't being released on VHS, but the point here is that nobody exclusively owned VHS, nobody exclusively owned DVD, but now Sony owns Blu-ray. That's why we had the competitor HD DVD, which lost, but it was the first time in my life being aware that a format war was going on, which was basically just one big pissing contest. Number three, the name. Hmm, maybe it's just me, but... Blu-ray is kind of a dumb name. It's not the worst name, it's just, you know, it's, it's weak. I, I can't believe we're stuck calling it that. I mean, look at it, it's not even blue. And what's next? Red Ray? Purple Ray? And it's still a DVD. A digital video or versatile disc. Except it's a high-def DVD. Yeah, I wish HD DVD won so we can call it what it is. Number two, bookmarking. Sitting down and watching an entire movie from start to finish without having to stop is a luxury. When you got the time, it's great, but when you can't, you just gotta stop and come back to it later. On DVD, I rarely had a problem. I'd stop the movie, shut the PS3 down, and the next night, I'd start it up again, and the movie would continue right where it left off. <sighs> but on Blu-ray, on this newer technology, it doesn't work. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. So I have to start the damn thing from the beginning, commercials, trailers and all, and then go hunting. It has a new feature called bookmarks. This feature varies depending on what movie it is and what studio released it. So you have these obnoxious colored buttons that in theory you're supposed to hit during the movie to leave a bookmark. So you gotta remember it first of all. But most of the time I press them and nothing happens. I try every color and nothing. It doesn't do a damn thing. Other times it does work. I'm able to leave a bookmark, but when I come back to the movie, I have no idea how to retrieve the bookmarks. Is there some secret bookmark menu I should know about? 
Very rarely have I actually been able to set a bookmark, find it, and resume the movie like normal. And even then, why do I have to do that? Why can't it just work like DVDs? And when it comes to technical things like this, remember, it varies from disc to disc, and I'm not the most technologically up-to-date person, which you can tell. So there's a chance I'm doing something wrong, but this is my experience with it. It shouldn't be confusing and frustrating, and with something that's so similar to DVD, why can't it function more like a DVD? Number one, commercials and trailers. Wow, this is nothing new. Every video format has had commercials and trailers in the beginning, but with Blu-ray, it's gotten out of control. I thought it was bad on DVD, because on VHS you could at least fast forward through them, but now with Blu-ray, it's gotten insane. I've seen Blu-rays with more than 20 minutes of bullshit you can't skip through. Oh, and there's that FBI warning, of course, that comes on everything. All I want is for the movie to start. Put the disc in, push play, and go. That's a big win for streaming. Because on streaming, you click on it and it just starts. That's it. So to me, Blu-ray is much worse than DVD. But hey, it's 1080p. So yeah, I'd obviously prefer to watch the movie in high def as opposed to standard def. But to take one step forward, why do we always have to take so many steps back? I'm not even going to bother with 4K Ultra Blu-ray discs, at least not yet. I need to hear some good things about it first. If you think there's a good reason, let me know in the comments. But I'm more about streaming right now. Streaming is so convenient. Sometimes I'll even rent a movie on Amazon that I already own on DVD or Blu-ray just so I don't have to go find it, put it in, and wait through all the commercials, FBI warnings, and trailers. $3 to rent it instead? Sure, that's worth it. That's not to say streaming is perfect. It has a long way to go. I don't want to get into too much, but certain things that could be better, first of all, browsing through Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Disney+, Plus for one movie or program, like it could be searchable in an easier way. Like Depending on the device, I'd like to see better integration so you can search across all your different streaming services for that one movie or whatever it is. Uh, things are changing rapidly, but what I hope to see soon is a better way to bring all your channels together, like TV. Also, I want to see more stuff being added. My ultimate goal, my dream wish, would be to have access to every movie ever made. But it seems more often they keep taking movies and programs off of streaming services. And if that's going to happen, I'd at least like to know when a title is expiring. It seems like a courtesy to just say, hey, this title is leaving on this date, which they sometimes do. Uh, I think that helps to get more people to watch it, too. Uh, if I knew something was leaving, I'd make it a priority to watch that. Another big reason why physical media can't be obsolete yet is because of all the bonus content that exists on DVDs. My hopes would be that more streaming services include that type of bonus content to go along with their movies. Also, when it comes to buying movies digitally, I'm still unsure what the best option is. I bought a bunch of movies on Amazon, but there's no way to organize them, and you can only see a few of them on the screen at a time because they're in this one horizontal line that you have to keep scrolling through. It sucks. When I put something on for my kids, I'm going through, I'm like, okay, where's Lego Movie? Okay, Wreck-It Ralph, Secret Life of Pets, Leprechaun Returns. Ugh. They can't even separate them by genre? Until there's a better way to organize titles you own, I'm not too thrilled. And if there is a way, please let me know in the comments. I also have yet to know any way of migrating my physical media collection into a digital collection. I know there exist different ways, but I'm not sure which is the best and something that I'd actually have time to do. I remember when iTunes came out and I imported all my old CDs. That was a huge project, and that was just audio. I can't imagine doing that now with video. I know there's some services like Vudu that allow you to scan the barcodes of your DVDs and pay $5 or something to unlock a digital version, but that's gotta be a limited library, and how expensive could that be for a collection like mine? I don't even wanna think about that. So, streaming is not perfect, but I think it's better than physical media. Blu-rays, you can just forget about. Unless you wanna buy the Angry Nerd Blu-rays, 
Announcing a new AVGN Blu-ray box set. Available now at ScreenWaveStore.com. It's AVGN, the BFG of Blu-rays. Oh yeah. This bad boy is one big fucking group of Blu-rays containing eight discs that span over the 15 years of the angry video game nerd. Woo! And this set is the only way to get X2 and X3 and the latest AVGN seasons as a physical release. The old sets are extinct, baby. Oh no. So how much is it? 599 US dollars. No! All of these discs would cost you $130 if bought separately. But this collection isn't $100, $80, or even $69.99. It's $79.99! How? There's also two shiny empty disc slots to pop in future releases. Or anything else you want, if you know what I mean. So head over to ScreenWaveStore.com or find our products on Amazon. Available now! All links are in the description.